Hey, welcome to my channel, Select 5. Before we start, help us grow, hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up, and turn those bell notifications on. Now, let's get into it. Yesterday, May 8th at 8.51 p.m., Elon Musk tweeted, If I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you. Now, I don't know about you, but this left me pretty confused with a lot of questions that are unanswered. One of the most obvious uh, controversies people are trying to bring up is Hillary Clinton, of course. The Clintons, because they have a long history of associates going missing. There were some talks about him trying to expose shadow companies, but there was one in particular that really hits home with conspiracy theorists, and that's his 100 Tesla Gigafactories could power the entire world with sustainable energy back in 2016 with his interview with Leonardo DiCaprio. This is kind of debunked because it's been, what, seven years now? So if anything would have happened, I feel like it would have happened by now. And if it's not even 100 by right now, it's like more like 150 Gigafactories with today's power consumption. Now the last theory probably being the most credible is that this man, Mr. Dmitry Rogozin, who is the head of the Russian Space Agency, sent a statement to the Russian media condemning Musk's Starlink satellite company for enabling the quote-unquote Nazi Azov Battalion to access the internet. Now while I couldn't find any direct numbers on how much the US has actually paid Starlink to provide these Starlink routers, it looks like the U.S., Poland, a couple other countries are all kind of pitching in to help fund this as well as Starlink donating a portion of them. But back to Dmitry's statement, he says, Elon Musk thus is involved in supplying the fascist forces of Ukraine with the military communication equipment. As for this, Elon, you will be held accountable like an adult. But, I mean, Elon Musk is worth about $265.4 billion, overshadowing Jeff Bezos by over... What, $100 billion? So a man of that worth could probably hire security enough to deter any major sources from trying to quote-unquote end him early. Since a lot of people are trying to relate this to the John McAfee case, which is kind of similar. He put out a tweet, hey, I'm happy. I'm not trying to end myself and then ends up ending himself. So that's all I got for right now. Thanks for watching. I just wanted to make a quick video, update everyone on the possibilities of what this tweet could be about. No one knows for sure. But as soon as Elon Musk comes out and says what it was about, I'll make a video, let everyone know. In the meantime, be sure you press that like, subscribe, and that little bell button so you know when I do post a video. Thanks for watching, enjoy, and please drop a comment and let me know what you think this tweet was about.